Bonjour à tous. Hello, everyone. Bienvenue. Welcome. Today we are going to talk about la deuxième partie, the second part de chapitre 1, vocabulaire. So we're going to talk about the second part of chapter 1, vocab. And so this part of the vocab is talking about à l'école. So à l'école right here, which means at school. And so we're going to talk about classroom commands and things that you might hear uh, a teacher say or things that you might need to ask a teacher. I'm going to turn my mouse pointer on focus mode, so just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So the first one that I want to talk about is asseyez-vous. So everybody say asseyez-vous. And then asseyez-vous means sit down. And levez-vous, levez-vous means stand up. So you might hear me say asseyez-vous sometimes or levez-vous if we were in the classroom. There is silence, looks just like what it is in English, which means silence. And then faites attention, so silence and faites attention, which means pay attention. Next, we have écouter, which means listen. So écouter, a, and répéter, répéter, repeat, après, after, moi, me. So écouter, listen, a, répéter, and repeat, après, moi, after, me. Prenez, prenez means take. So prenez une feuille de papier is take out a sheet of paper. So prenez une feuille de papier, take out a sheet of paper. You could also change out feuille de papier and change it with un livre, a book, or un ordinateur, a computer, un stylo, a pen, un crayon, a pencil. You could switch out une feuille de papier with anything that you need. Allez au tableau is go to the blackboard or the whiteboard. Usually, a tableau means blackboard, but they're not really present anymore in classrooms, so a lot of the times people don't have a chalkboard, they just have a whiteboard. So, allez au tableau, we're going to consider this a whiteboard too. So, allez is to go or go. O means to the, and tableau is whiteboard or blackboard. Regardez, we remember, is, uh, is look. So, regardez, look. And then we put in a vocab word. So, regardez la carte means look at the map. I could say regardez le tableau, look at the whiteboard. You can switch out la carte with anything that you want somebody to look at. Retourner looks just like what it is in English. It means return or go back. So, retourner à vos places, which means return to your seats or go back to your seats. So, retournez à vos places. Next is ouvrez. Ouvrez means open. So, ouvrez, open, vos, your, livre. Remember, we learned livre is books. So, ouvrez vos livres. Open your books. À la page means to, and then page is page. So, ouvrez vos livres à la page, and then I'd say a number. So, Ouvrez vos livres à la page 10. Open your books to page 10. Ferme means close, so it's the opposite of ouvrez. So ferme, close, vos, your, cahier are notebooks, so like something you take notes in. So ferme vos cahiers are close your notebooks. I could also say ferme vos ordinateurs, which means close your computers. I could say, fermez vos livres, close your books. You can switch out vos cahiers with anything that you'd need. So to ask a teacher something, something that you might need to either ask me or another teacher, you would say, monsieur, which we learned as mister or sir, madame, which means ma'am or missus, and mademoiselle, which means miss. So you could put in the teacher's last name, you could say, Monsieur Klein, etc., etc. You could say Madame Mulvey, or you could say Mademoiselle Bouchard, etc., etc. Je ne comprends pas. This is a really important phrase. Is je ne comprends pas. So comprends looks like comprehend. So je ne comprends pas means I don't understand or I don't comprehend. This is super important, especially if I'm talking in French and you don't understand what I'm saying. You can say, Madame, je ne comprends pas. Madame, I don't understand. And I'll repeat it or I'll say it slower or I'll say it in English. 
Répéte, we learned from over here was repeat. So répéte, s'il vous plaît, we know is please. So répéte, s'il vous plaît, repeat please. Or more polite way to say it is could you repeat that? Comment dit-on? Comment dit-on? So when we have an, a consonant like T and a vowel like O, the T connects to the O. So it's comment dit-on? So comment dit-on means how do you say, and then blah, 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 en français. So I could say comment dit-on dog en français. Then no, no, so I'm asking how do you say dog in French? You could say comment dit-on dog en espagnol. If you wanted to switch it out and say to Spanish, you wanted to ask me how to say something in Spanish, you could do that as well. Qu'est-ce que means what? So, qu'est-ce que, I'm going to say that a little bit slower, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire means what does this mean. So, I could say, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire chien, so what does this mean, and then the word dog. So, the, you put the word that you don't know at the very end where these dots are. So one more time through all of this, I'm just going to say it with you. So we have assiez-vous, lavez-vous, silence, faites attention, écoutez et répétez après moi, prenez une feuille de papier, allez au tableau, regardez la carte, regardez le tableau, Retournez à vos places, ouvrez vos livres à la page, fermez vos cahiers, fermez vos ordinateurs, if you wanted to say computers. Monsieur, madame, mademoiselle, je ne comprends pas. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Comment dit-on and then your word, en français, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, and then the word that you don't know there. So that's it for the vocab today. I'm going to turn off my highlighter. This vocab is found on page 20, on page 20, so page 20 of your online book. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Your vocab quiz will be coming up um, next Monday, so you'll have a vocab quiz on Monday. If you have any questions, let me know. Say to a plus.